ever pondered about the appearance of a normal uterine cavity? Well, it's high time we delve into this fascinating subject. The uterine cavity is a central part of the female reproductive system. It plays an essential role in fertility, menstruation, and pregnancy. Understanding its structure and function is fundamental to both general knowledge and medical practice. The uterine cavity is typically normal in size and shape. Now what does normal entail? Well, it suggests a pear-shaped structure with a smooth inner lining, also known as the endometrium. This lining is crucial as it thickens and sheds during menstrual cycles and provides a nourishing environment for a fertilized egg. The uterine cavity's opacification, or the degree of opacity, is also typically normal. Opacity is a term used in radiology to describe how much body tissue or fluid stops the passage of X-ray beams. Normal opacification means that the uterus is healthy, without any abnormality that might block the X-rays. Moving on, let's talk about the fallopian tubes. These are two thin tubes that escort mature eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. In a healthy uterus, both fallopian tubes are visualized clearly. Visualization is key here, as it helps identify any potential issues or blockages that could impact fertility. Speaking of blockages, spill of contrast is a significant point of discussion. Contrast is a special dye used in medical imaging to highlight structures or fluids within the body. When this contrast spills on both sides of the fallopian tubes, it's an indication that the tubes are patent, meaning open and unblocked. This is a positive sign, as patent tubes allow the passage of eggs from the ovaries to the uterus, a vital process for conception. In conclusion, a normal uterine cavity is typical in size, shape, and opacification, with no abnormal filling defects. Both fallopian tubes are clearly visualized, and a spill of contrast on both sides indicates that the tubes are patent. However, it's crucial to remember that this is an overview, and individual circumstances may vary. Therefore, it's always advisable to correlate these findings clinically for a comprehensive understanding. So there you have it, a simple yet detailed look into the normal uterine cavity, its structure and function. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding these fundamental aspects of the female reproductive system is a step towards better health and well-being.